Mosley here and if you know what's been going on with the channel you know I'm in the midst of switching from Canon to Lumix or Panasonic and one of the issues that I encountered was not having native lenses for my GH4 so I've been using a cheap adapter to adapt my Canon lenses to use on this camera that did not give me any electronic control of the lens so what I did I ended up trading one of my Canon lenses that I'm kind of sad about because it was my favorite lens but I got something I feel is a little bit better and is going to make my GH4 a weapon. And that's a Voigtlander 25mm f0.95. Yes, you heard right. f0.95. Crazy aperture on this lens, man. And I'm going to do like a short, simple unboxing of this lens. I'm not going to get too technical because... The crazy part is I didn't find much information on this lens and the build of the lens and the the history behind it, it just wasn't much out there. And the way the lens looks and it feels, it makes you want to research this lens and learn more about the manufacturer. I found out it's a German lens, as you can tell by the name. And please forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but Voigtlander, uh, please in the comments correct me. I mean, I haven't ever heard anyone pronounce it. There's not a lot of people in my region that will have this lens. So if you know how to pronounce it, help me out. But I'm going to do a short unboxing and just tell what I do know about this lens. And if you know anything about my channel, I'm not going to get real technical. What I want to do is let you know how this lens feels, what you'll be getting if you buy it, the value of the lens, and how it feels and the image it produces. I'm going to take this lens out and test it out in the field so you'll know if you buy this lens for your camera how it would look like what kind of images you will get so with any further ado let's go ahead and open up this box it's a pretty average box I'm not really gonna do any bragging on the box because there's really nothing to it it's a little foam in it and then on the inside you have your actual lens and it actually comes with a hood for the lens and that's rare you know anything extra that you get with a product is rare and it makes you feel good about your purchase this is the cap this is the hood and then you have the actual lens it's really hard to explain how this lens feels it's it's metal so it's got a metal very sturdy feel to it it's rather small I actually thought it was going to be bigger than this but it's small but it has a really hefty feel to it and if you listen, it's a manual aperture lens. So it's a very smooth click. Like I said, 0 0.95. This lens opens up very wide. Beautiful glass, beautiful build. It's really a joy to use and it's really no way to explain it other than to just show you the images that this lens produces, man. It, it's really a joy. I mean, I've seen a lot of people say they love it. I've seen a lot of people say, you know, it's overrated and not that good and soft at 0 0.95. I haven't experienced that. I took it to a club and did a showcase and shot at 0 0.95 all night long. Sharp, crisp, good contrast. But, you know, people have different experiences with these lenses because everybody uses different settings and stuff like that. But all good experiences on my end. One of the another good key point about this lens that's powerful is the focus ring. Like all jokes aside, I'm not trying to hype it up because I own this lens. This is the smoothest, butteriest focus ring I have ever used, man. It's really a joy to just put your hands on it and twist this lens. I know I've said that about a couple lenses, but to this point up to until today, this is the smoothest focus ring I have ever used. Like, I'm very happy about the trade I did for this lens. I found it on Craigslist. I think it retails between $700 to $900, depending on where you find it at, what condition it's in. Uh, we're going to take this lens out and show you some sample images, and mostly sample video, because I don't think a lot of people are using a GH4 and a Micro Four Thirds lens for pictures. So, we'll go ahead and cut that out and go straight to video. There's no reason in even, even doing that. Mm -hmm. 